So welcome, welcome everybody. Today is September the 13th, 2020, and you're listening to Kriya Channeling. So welcome. I just want to let everybody know that the um, the order of the evening is I'll be leading everybody into a a short meditation just to get myself and everyone grounded and and just be present and then whenever the energy of career gets strong then the the channeling is going to start and then when the channeling is done then there'll be a brief um, question and answer period and that's how our evening is going to be so without um, further ado let's begin so let's begin by tuning inward so just take a deep breath and let go and just kind of make sure that you're comfortable if you need to adjust your your posture to be comfortable then do that while at the same time, set the intention that you want to turn your focus inwards. Let go of any um, thoughts about how the week has been or what it is that you need to do tomorrow or even after the, the channeling. So just be here now. Just be in this moment. Choose that choose to be in this moment. And just breathe a little bit more. Just move out your own breathing. And be in this moment and start to shift your focus to your heart. Just imagine that you can take an energetic elevator that takes you from your head where all your thoughts are. Just get away from those thoughts and start to go all the way down into your heart space. And within your heart, that is truly where the real you, the genuine you resides. It's where you communicate with your soul, your higher self, and all the other parts of your bodies. Your heart is really the central controller. So just tune into your heart and feel joy within your heart. Choose to feel joy. Choose to feel unconditional love in your heart. Unconditional love for yourself and unconditional love for everyone else other than yourself. Choose this unconditional love. You don't need to love yourself because you are beautiful or not. You don't love yourself because you've done good work today or not. You simply choose that. Choose to love yourself unconditionally. Choose to love everyone else and everything else unconditionally. Choose to fill your whole world with this unconditional love. And send love to Mother Earth. Mother Earth is this wonderful, gracious host that allow us to play within 
this whole playground called Mother Earth. To send love to Mother Earth. And send love to Father Sky as well. To the sun, the star of our solar system, the sun gives us unconditional love. So let's send Father Sky our unconditional love as well and feel Father Sky returning our love a million times over and feel Mother Earth returning our love a million times over as well. There is so much love. Allow yourself to be saturated with this unconditional love. really know and feel and breathe in and have no doubt whatsoever in your mind that you are safe. You have always been safe and will always be safe because of this unconditional love that is the basis, the foundation and the totality of your being. Unconditional love is who and what you truly are. You may have some idea that you are a human being, or you are a woman, or you are a man, or whatever gender that you identify to be. You may identify with the work you do. You may think that you are a teacher. You may think that you are a student. You may think that you are a policeman. You may think that you are a cameraman. You may be that. However, you are so much more as well. You are, in fact, this unconditional love. That is who you truly are. Your body, your vessel is simply a vessel for you to experience this unconditional love. However, this, this unconditional love is who you truly are and who we see you as. Spirit. Spirits of unconditional love, having an experience on this beautiful playground. And you have been under the impression that you are this body and that you are vulnerable and that you need to be scared. You need to be scared of virus. You need to be scared of too much fire, you need to be scared of the weather, of the asteroids, or anything else that you may think of that is a threat to your existence. We would like to remind you that that is not the case. Your existence has never been threatened. It can never be. Your existence is this unconditional love. And it is time now for you to remember this unconditional love. And that's who you are.
And you may choose to be something else. You may choose to believe that you are this vessel. You may choose to believe that something bad is happening to you. You may choose to believe that you can be harmed. And that is the beauty of being able to experience all of this, being vulnerable, being weak, being at risk all the time. And this is the play that you can participate in if you so wish. And you can also participate in a different kind of play the play where you remember who you truly are, this indestructible life force, this unconditional love that is the personification of unconditional love that you truly are. If you like, you may want to toggle and play with these two identities. You may want to play with being vulnerable and scared one day and being this eternal, limitless being the next day. And decide for yourself which one is better. Which one gives you more excitement? Which one gives you more joy? Or you may mix it in with any percentage. You can allow yourself to remember some of the times. Maybe only when you are meditating, you remember that you are this limitless, powerful creator. And when you are not meditating, you may want to revert back to being this vulnerable mess. However you want to play with it, it's all up to you. But we want you to realize that it is a play. It is a very real play though. It is. It is a real dress up rehearsal. Let's put it that way. And it is also not true as well because somewhere within you, somewhere within you, Within your heart, you have this connection to the eternal part of you that is always trying to get your attention to make sure that you remember at least some of the times, at least you have glimpses of that eternal being that you truly are. And the other parts of you, the spirit part of you, the energetic parts of you, the parts of you that are me, that are like me, who are here to help you to have the experience that you signed up for on this planet Earth. And that's how we support you. We support you by giving you glimpses of who you truly are by being the witness, the witness of your limitless, the witness of your eternity, the witness of your power, of your infinite creative powers. And we are here to give you the messages, to remind you, to jog your memory 
And it is up to you whether you want to listen in and learn more or whether you just want to forget about it in the next moment. That is your choice. Our choice is that we want to have this experience, this opportunity to love you, to be the mirror, that mirror of the eternal you, to let you know that you and we are not that much different. Not the physical you, but the eternal you, the totality of you are like us. Does not have a body, does not have a location even. We can be in 10,000 different places in all of eternity, all at the same time, non-local, eternal. That's who and what you truly are. And that's who and what we are as well. And we want to hold up that as the mirror that that is who you are as well. We can give you a big blast of energy to allow you to feel our presence even though we have no physical body, but you can feel us. You can sense our presence. Our presence is different from your presence. You have a body to play with. We have energy. We play with the magnetics of Earth. We can increase the frequency of earth and we can decrease it. We can tweak how the energy is being transformed and transferred on mother earth. We can tweak where the energy ley lines cross and become more potent can play with that. That's what we enjoy playing with. And you enjoy playing with different things. You like to play on earth, to pretend that you are a teacher, to pretend that you are a musician, to pretend that you are a lawyer, an architect, a poet, a painter, however you like to. That's how you play. Just like we play with the magnetics. You play with emotions. You play with creating life experiences. All are different levels of play. And you are learning. You're learning as well. Each of these identities that you have taken up is actually, you are learning. You are learning different things. You may think that there is no purpose in all this play. Why would anyone want to play like that? What's the purpose of this? There is a purpose. We would like you to know. That's why you come here. Because this physical experience is grounded in your soul. It gives you a different kind of understanding. 
some of you may be learning to be a leader. And so you would learn by being a teacher first, maybe. Or you may want to become a psychotherapist in order to learn how to be a leader, to lead a federation council member, maybe. So don't think of that the things that you do is not important. They are important. Each of the experiences that you have here is being gathered and stacked together so that you can become more and more of who you truly are and play with bigger and more important roles. The roles that you play here may be something that you have planned to become more of. It could be 10 lifetimes from now because the soul is timeless. A thousand years is but the blink of an eye. So you plan ahead. And what you do here, what you choose to experience here, prepares you for future roles, for future identities, for future planets. You are learning. Right now, you may not know what it is that you're preparing yourself for. And that's okay. Just follow. Just follow your own joy, whatever it is that you feel like participating in now. Just follow that. Trust. Trust the guidance of your own joy. You are unconditional love. You did not come here to suffer. You come here to experience, to do transform, to experience joy, to experience peace to experience love. And you can experience all of that first by feeling it in your heart. We want to remind you who you truly are. We want to remind you of that because the energy has never been more supportive. So remember who you are and bring that part of you out now. The universe is calling you out. Your higher self is calling you out. Now is not the time. Now is not the time to hold back. Now is not the time to play small. Now is not the time to doubt yourself. Now is the time to simply feel what is within your heart and start to grow that 
start to bring it out because we need you to be who you truly are. The whole universe needs you to be that. To play full out. And really feel and allow yourself to feel this joy of being able to play on planet Earth. How cool is that? How cool it is to be able to have this experience when you rub your fingers together, you can feel, you can feel how the other fingers are, you can feel the warmth of your fingers, you can feel the smoothness of your fingers, you can feel the joints of your bones. This is a unique experience. Not everyone can have this experience. Not everyone is in the body who can have all these experiences. So we want to remind you to enjoy this physical body. This physical body was given to you from unconditional love, the unconditional love of Mother Earth gave you this body. So that you can experience all the things that is within your heart, that you can start to bring it out now. You can start to plan for it, start to visualize, start to take steps. Start to build whatever it is that you want to experience. In this energy now in this energy is all supported whatever it is that you would like to experience announce it to yourself allow yourself to think it the dream of it to speak it to share it with the people around you. Some dreams you need to build with everyone or with other people's help as well. There are some experiences, there are some that you may be able to have just by yourself. Now is the time to start to share with others co-create with others to really look into the people around you and see the unconditional love being reflected back for you to experience that when you look into someone else's eyes all you see is simply yourself. See this unconditional love that you have for yourself and for everyone else being reflected back to you. realize
realize that in this energy, in this high frequency energy now, the veils are coming off. The only veils that you can keep are the veils that you are not ready to let go of yet. You have to truly work very hard to keep those veils now. Because in this energy, the veils don't really stand much of a chance. So let go, let them all go. If that is your choice, you can make it come true now. Let go of those veils. We would like to remind you that sometimes when you feel frustrated, it is because the veils are coming down and you are seeing too much and you're not ready to integrate them. That's why you are so feeling frustrated and aggravated. Just know that that is the case and choose, choose to be neutral, choose to just observe, choose to simply observe how ludicrous this normal life, this so-called normal life that a lot of human beings have been living is simply crazy. No wonder people are frustrated. When the veils come off, you start to question why some people are still playing games with themselves, playing this hide and seek with themselves. And that's okay. It's part of the fun. That's how some people like to play. They want to have the blinders on. They don't want to see. And that is their right to choose. So just know. Just take a deep breath in and stay neutral. And just remind yourself, I'll not be playing that game anymore. That does not look like fun. Instead, focus, focus on unconditional love. Focus on what brings you joy. Focus on what brings you peace. Focus on what brings you connection. Focus on compassion. Focus on gratitude. So many good things to focus on. Most of all, focus 
on this wonderful opportunity that you have on Mother Earth to really play full out, to see all the planning and thinking in your head, being able to translate and actually see outside of you being built. Build the life that you love. That is your only that is your only choice is to build the life that you love. Whatever that means to you, it's up to you decide. And we give you the energy to support you to do that. And we will do our part if you do yours. So play full out. We love you very much. And we thank you for this chance to once again communicate with you. Be here to shower you and reflect back to you the unconditional love that you truly are. We love you, we love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you.